Just on with the Nearly Historical Railroad channel. So uh, gonna work on a Palisades a little bit, get some more talus going. Gonna get the track cleaned over there, I think, so we can try and run some trains through there. Uh, so stick around for that. And, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. Here we go. So I actually came out here the other day for about 45 minutes and added a little bit more rock, kind of up on here and up in there. So get myself ahead of the game for tonight and then going to uh, add some more tonight. Um, and I am definitely thinking I'm gonna come up with a way, need, gonna need to come up with a way to lighten the color of this talus type of stuff. So that will be a little bit of an adventure because it's all glued down now, so I gotta make it work somehow. Anyways, that's where we're at. And uh, I'm gonna start adding more, I guess. All right, more to come. So a while ago, my dad built this kind of workbench thingy here for uh, scenery items. And as you can tell, this top bench part is full of stuff. And there really just is not enough room to put scenery things. <laughs> So, we talked about it and we figured out another spot we can make a shelf to be able to put scenery stuff. And that is over by the Buena Vista Tunnels. Okay, so at this point, I'm kind of tired of doing talus and I think I need to stop and let it dry anyways. Um, but I got farther than I expected because I kind of came up with a new technique. Um, let, me, let me show you where I got and I'll kind of explain to you what I did to kind of help me get, me get me a little farther along. So, kind of got a lot of this in here done. A lot of that and quite a bit more up this way and all down in here and a little bit up here. So it just takes time. I really just want to let this dry now. I also kind of added some of the finer stuff up here. Probably add more rock onto that. I just kind of want to let that dry. Let me explain. Uh, looks pretty good. <laughs> let me, uh, let me explain how I went about doing this and was able to get a little farther than last time. So basically what I did is where I wanted to put talus, I just took like straight undiluted matte matte mod podge and just kind of like painted it on here. And then at the same time, I took some of this rock, not the bigger stuff, the bigger stuff is a little tougher, but kind of I'd say the small to medium size of what I have in here. And I put it in this little container and I took the eyedropper with the diluted down Mod Podge water and uh, well Mod Podge and I just dripped it in there and mixed up the rock with it so it was all coated. And then I just let that sit for like 15 minutes and let it get kind of sticky and tacky along with letting this get kind of sticky and tacky. Then I was able to a little easier Kind of use a flat screwdriver to pull it out of this dish and get it onto here. And it kind of, you know, would stick a little bit better initially. Initially, I still had some stuff fall down, but not as much. It was, like I said, it was all kind of tacky. The surface was tacky and all the rock was kind of tacky. So it kind of helped hold it. And then I was able to do this and then come back and do more all, you know, kind of in the same evening. Um, but now I feel like I'm pushing my luck and I need to stop, let this dry, come back later. But, you know, instead of four months of doing this, it might only take one. So anyways, I'm a lot happier with that. Also, uh, gonna go ahead and explain this to you guys so you, maybe you'll learn a little something from my mistake. When I put all this dirt down in here and it was wet with glue and sticky, um, I thought, well, this would be a good time to come in with a little screwdriver and try to clean out the flange ways. I think was a bad idea because it just kind of clumped up, 
made big clods that stuck in the middle of the track. So I stopped that, let it dry. It's been a couple of weeks now. And then I came back in with the flat screwdriver and cleaned out those flangeways. It was a little hard in some spots for sure, but I think the overall result uh, was much better. So there's a little tip for you. So I'm gonna show you this. We uh, talked about this earlier. So my dad uh, added a couple more shelves on here. Uh, you know, it's not the prettiest thing, but we need some space to do scenery and, and, and put things. So he added a couple more shelves onto that. Now we can kind of get this down here cleared up. And over there, uh, over there, let me show you, he added in this other shelf. So we've kind of added this shelf under here. Uh, it's movable, but this will be a good spot for us to uh, put a lot of our scenery material. We re really just kind of need to lay stuff out and spread it out so that we can uh, see uh, what we have. So this is, this is good. Look, teddy bear fur. Let, let's, let's talk about teddy bear fur for a minute. So uh, recently I've seen some videos of uh, people using teddy bear fur and I've seen it in the past, um, but, uh, and it works, it works great. But I just, when I saw those videos, I thought, hey, hey, I, I've tried that out. Let me show you something. I, I bought that a long time ago. Let me show you something here. Um, all right, so uh, we've had this shelf here for a long time and eventually it will move. Um, <clears throat> there's just miscellaneous buildings and stuff on here. But look at this. Let me get this out. That, other than being really dusty, is teddy bear fur. Many, many years ago, I bought this stuff and I experimented with it on this little thing. I, uh, you know, glued it down, got some kind of shaver thing and trimmed a bunch off, added some dirt on top of it, added some rocks, and uh, I liked it. I thought it looked good, but I never did anything else with it. So, who knows? Maybe we'll try that out somewhere. Because, you know, all the cool kids are doing it nowadays. And speaking of projects I did a long time ago, back, back when I was a young lad. Oh my, <laughs> well, it's a mess. But I built this single stall engine house. And that may actually get used. Uh, you know, who knows, it might be 10 months before we get to that. But since we're here looking at things, just thought I'd point that out. I have an idea for it. That idea would take place in here. This is the intermodal yard. A lot of the track is down, but it's waiting on me to build um, some more custom uh, turnouts, dual gauge turnouts. But in the meantime, we kind of keep coming up with different ideas with the section that isn't uh, put down. And one of those ideas, actually several of those ideas, include the narrow gauge going to one side of the uh, little transfer area, like a team track type of thing. But I also am thinking of running another track off and putting that single stall engine house here because this is like the furthest point from like anywhere on the narrow gauge. And I thought, hey, it'd be kind of cool if you could park a narrow gauge locomotive in here and have a nice little shelter for it. Place to do maintenance, that type of stuff. So that's one of the ideas. This is one of our current kind of ideas for the intermodal yard. We got a lot of stuff just kind of crammed in here at the moment. Uh, we've talked about this a little bit in one of the previous videos, how my dad had uh, built, scratch built this tunnel portal and this one over here, but it was, it was all covered in uh, tape. So I just thought I'd show you real quick now that it's not covered in tape. Still needs to be, uh, you know, closing it into the mountain a little bit, but it looks good. I like it. What, how do we get paint on the wall? It never happens.
we did that. The train runs over the Palisades. Sometimes it hits stuff a little bit, but uh, we'll clear that out at some point, but that's cool. That's pretty neat to see. All right, well, I think that's about it. If you haven't already, subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notifications, new videos come out and all that stuff, and hit the thumbs up button, and thank you for watching, and all that type of stuff, and uh, we will catch you later. Thank you, and happy new year. See ya. I'm the